So very good morning to all my students. So after joining our MS team, please and please um, take your attendance by logging into your spectrum. Thank you. So let us start our class today. Yeah, uh, please uh, turn on your camera. <clears throat> so very soon, uh, one, you can log in into the spectrum and take the uh, e-attenders manually. Yes, uh, let us get started. Uh, before you go to start our class, please and please um, turn on your camera, especially during our uh, online class. Thank you for your cooperation. So uh, for those students, if you just uh, join our MS team, what you're going to do, Ruby, uh, try to log into your spectrum and please uh, take the e-attendance. There will be a link. So this will be the sums attendance. Yeah. I can see some of you, you already have taken your attendance. And after that, uh, I still remember uh, in last lecture, I asked you uh, to send your request in assessing the Google Excel sheet. So you can do it after the class. Could someone uh, mute your mic? Is it okay. Thanks. So what you're gonna do after the uh, after the class, especially after our online class, uh, you can uh, take the um, the second attendance by accessing to the uh, Google Sheet Excel file. So you can do it after the class, or you can do it uh, during our break time lecture on. But the most most important, uh, you have to take uh, the e attendance by logging into Spectrum. So I try to put this way. So after joining our MS team.
first, you have to uh, take uh, your e attendance via spectrum. So after that, you have to take uh, the another attendance via the Google Ship Excel file. So you can, uh, if you haven't uh, get a, get, uh, you cannot access the file. You can send your request. So later on, I'm going to approve your request, mostly after our online class. So for the Google Sheet Excel file appendance, you can either uh, do it during our break time and after the class. But for the attendance in our spectrum, you have to take it before you are going to uh, continue for our uh, online class because mostly alternative that I prepare for you all. So in case I'm not able to uh, retrieve the attendance uh, to uh, from spectrum, uh, for example, uh, during the uh, maintenance period, I still will able to retrieve your attendance rate from the uh, Google Ship Excel file. So, for this. So, um, do you have any other questions before we are going to start our online lecture today? Uh, sir, I have one question. Yes, please. Uh, do we need to form a group? Uh, your group, you have to form your group after um, we have received the confirmation or uh, registration from the student. So because uh, some students, they haven't uh, confirmed their uh, registrations. So uh, therefore, mostly uh, once we have received the confirmations uh, from the student registrations, then I will guide you uh, how you're going to form your group, uh, how many uh, members will group. So uh, I just want to confirm with you so when will be the due date for you to confirm your registration, especially in taking this course? I just want to clarify this with my students. Is it will be the week number three, right? Yeah, someone you can reply me. Until Monday, 26th of October. 26th of October, right? Great. So meaning to say, by 26th of October, uh, everyone, uh, you should uh, already uh, very sure that uh, either you want to take this course or either you want to take this course in next semester or either you want to take this, uh, this course with another group. So meaning to say, uh, your, uh, by next week, Supposedly, we were able to get uh, the confirmation list. So once uh, we have uh, received the confirmation list, so I will get you for the next. Thanks. Thanks for the information they share with me. 26, right? So I will take note for this. Thank you. So uh, we are going to start. I think uh, we already had 81 plus students. So I think, uh, can we start our um, uh, lecture today? So I think, uh, is it okay? Are you ready? So before we go into start our online lecture, so uh, could uh, could you turn on your uh, web camera? So that will be easier. Uh, if your name is not uh, listed in the Google Sheet, it's okay. Uh, you can uh, you can either just add on. You can add your name by putting asterisk. So you, boost, uh, you just put some remark by saying that actually uh, your name is not there. Actually, you just added it. 
because the list that I receive um, on the time, properly uh, the time, uh, no name uh, still not appear in the uh, wider system. It's okay. You just add your name by putting the asterisk. That's it. Yeah, I hope I answer your questions. Yeah, I think uh, can we start our class? Before this, um, could you try to turn on your camera, especially during our uh, online uh, lecture? Thank you so much. Well, I, I will able to see um, Jen Yang here. How are you, Jen Yang? Good. <laughs> Very nice uh, background. Wow, great. So please uh, turn on your camera. Yeah, I like your background, especially. Yeah, very good. So I think uh, let us get started. While we are waiting for um, other friends in joining our online class today. So before we going to um, continue our discussion, uh, I prefer to have uh, some revision and some recap remind students. So uh, during this discussion, if you were not able to listen my voice or certainly uh, there will be a uh, lost connections or whatever, please um, get back to me. E you can either um, WhatsApp to me, you can either turn on your mic and alert me. So then I will just able to know uh, that uh, you were not able to listen my voice or either you were not able to see or view the screen or the slide that I'm going to share with you. So uh, last week, I see member. Last week, I see Yeah, can we, can we continue, right? Okay. Uh, last week, I still remember, uh, I have shared with you, especially about the sum cost attitude, especially for these uh, GIG1003. So during our discussion that we had, especially in a week number one, uh, I have uh, shared with you about the cost learning outcome uh, by referring to this uh, co a cost learning outcome. Uh, so therefore, we were able to know the directions of our cost. We are able to know uh, what are the learning outcomes that we are going to achieve end of this semester. So um, besides, I also have shared with you uh, what are the uh, cost components, what are the weightage uh, for each um, assignments, especially for group assignments and the individual assessment. So I would like to have uh, one question to you all. So still remember how many percent from group assignments and how many percent from individual assessment. So could you try to let me know? Because I prefer to have uh, some uh, interactions with my students, especially during our online class. So during this, I will stop for a while um, and I will going to ask you, do you have any questions? Um, properly, I'm going to or ask you are these some questions because I prefer to have some interactions with my students. So could someone uh, just uh, share with me how many percent for uh, group assignments and how many percent for uh, individual assessment? You can type it into the chat under this MS team. Yeah. So remember. So the student, could you try to uh, turn on your web camera? especially during our online class. Thank you for your cooperations. So thank you. So can someone type uh, this? How many percent uh, for group assignments and how many percent for individual assessment? You just type it very easy. Still remember? So at least I know um, you are listening to uh, that what I'm saying. So could someone just type it very easy? How many how many percents? Or you forgot? Yeah, that's great. So thank you so much for the um, 
um, respond and the feedback they given by uh, Damia uh, Julaika. Thank you so much. 20% uh, individual assessment. Exactly. You are the you are right. Thank you so much. And 80% Rabida uh, group uh, excitements. So under this, uh, 20, uh, 80% of your group excitements, 10% will be for your seminars, series, and uh, another 20% for your uh, case study, 30% for your uh, two business uh, two business model, plus uh, business plan or marketing portfolio, and another 20% for your business pitching. All these we have discussed it uh, during our week number one. Uh, instead of that, we also have discussed about uh, about the spectrum I have uh, gone through with um, how we are going to maximize uh, in, in uh, using our uh, spectrum, especially for this uh, GIG1003. So starting, uh, starting next week, uh, then you do not need to go to F the week uh, to week 3, week 4, until week 14 by click on the attendance. You just have to click on the one uh, attendance. So they will be um, much easier. Then we try to see, okay, uh, for our next class, either you were able to uh, click on the list, especially for the attendance list. They will be, I uh, try to make it easier. But for, for very sure, from week number one and week number two, I prepare everything. So, Starting from week number three, then you just go to this. I just share with you with this. Then I try to make it uh, clear. So therefore, you were able to know uh, how you're going to uh, take your own uh, attendance starting from uh, next week. So we're able to see this, right? So do you um, do you see this one attendance from uh, week number three and the week fourteen? So you just click on here, then you will able to uh, how are you gonna say to take uh, from week three and the week fourteen. So this will be the uh, something I already have discussed with you. So by the way, we are able to see this interface or not? Uh, someone just reply me. Is this say yes or no? Because it's very important. So uh, for the coming weeks, at least you know how you're going to take your appendix manually. You just say yes, this time yes, they will be very good. So you just go here and take this um, appendix because I already have uh, prepared all the appendix from week three until week 14. So even uh, in joining our MS team, so I think I have shared the what you call this will be the MS team code. So you just uh you just uh, key in this code. So for um these coming following week, you do not need uh to 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 send your request. You can enroll and join our online class automatically. So this will be the some updates that I already have shared with you uh during our uh, last class i still remember i have asked you to do a one um uh, weekly uh, online activity so during this online activity i asked you to go to uh, the padlet page then i have shared one infographic with you so after that i i ask you uh, try to share your interpretations and point of view about this uh, infographic so after this, you have the uh, screenshot and you have to uh, submit it uh, to our uh, spectrum. So uh, this will be what we had done in the first uh, in the week one. So especially for those students, if you just join our uh, uh, class today, so this will be some uh, uh, tasks and some um, things that we already have discussed in our week number one. So I will going to continue uh, by having these revisions or even with this recap uh, before uh, we are going to uh, start our new lectures today. 
So, do you have any questions? Because I want to make sure that uh, every student, you are very clear uh, what you should do and what you shouldn't do. So therefore, uh, it will be easier for us to uh, conduct our online class before uh, all of you, you are very clear uh, with my explanation and you know uh, what you should do after this. So very soon, I'm going to invite you to play a game. So this game is called as a Kahoot game. So mostly I'm going to uh, share this uh, website. Then you'll just key in the game pins. So during this, uh, if you were not able to listen any audio or you have any problems, uh, you may let me know. So now I'm going to uh, share this URL with you. So I'm going to share it um, to our WhatsApp group. And at the same time, I also will share it to our MS team. And now I'm going to this. Yeah. Please enjoy it. So later on, uh, please screenshot the form that you receive. Thank you. 
Well, okay, okay, will be the first great.
So welcome back. Congratulations. So who is okay here? So could could you uh have some works with us? So who is okay here? Could you turn on your mic and just have some works with us? Yeah, who is okay? Who is the winner? I just know the okay. So could you try, try to turn on your mic and have some words with us? Congratulations. You are the winners in this round. Wow, congratulations. So who is the... Uh, Students name okay here. Just say some words. Uh, I do not turn on the mic. Oh, so you are the uh, Eileen, is it? So congratulations. Maybe you can type some words and share with us. How you can make it? Yeah. Oh, so cute. Okay. Oh, yes. Wow, congratulations. So thank you for joining our games. Yeah, uh, as, uh, also I would like to say uh, thank you so much uh, for everyone in uh, participating uh, for this game. So um, for our next class and our next class, I try my best to have uh, some um, uh, interactive uh, activities and some interactive uh, videos and some um, uh, some uh, interactive group discussion with my students. I try to make our class to be more interactive as I could, although we are having our online class, but I try to apply uh, some um, uh, e-learnings or uh, tools and some e-learnings platform uh, in order for us uh, to uh, learn and share together along this journey of entrepreneurship is a very uh, important. So, wow, congratulations again, okay, uh, to Elins. So, <clears throat> it's very, very good. So, uh, therefore, along this class, I just want to let you know in advance. So, mostly, I'm going to have uh, some questions especially when I'm going to have, uh, after I have briefed some notes, I'm going to ask you, uh, were you able to, um, do you have any questions? Were you see this uh, slide? Were you able to view this video or not? So mostly I'm going to stop for a while. Uh, properly, I also will pick randomly from one of, uh, one of the students here by asking you some questions because uh, I prefer to have uh, some uh, interactions uh, with my student, uh, especially uh, during our uh, online lecture. So uh, as you know, uh, before um, this, I prefer to have uh, some activity and interactions with my student, uh, especially uh, during the lecture uh, in the lecture hall. But um, uh, eventually, so we have we are we have to conduct our online lecture. So therefore, I try my best to make this class to be more interesting, and uh, and you should uh, feel uh, enjoyable, okay? Uh, after uh, or when you are joining this class. So I I will not uh just uh read out all the slide. I try to uh, explain to you. So by using my own works, I do hope um, this will be the better uh, where, especially when I'm going to share with you. So uh, yeah, so we able to see this PowerPoint slide or not? Yes, uh, you, you, you do not need to turn on your mic even, you just type yes, yes, that will be great. Then uh, let us uh, get started. Yeah. So uh, before this, if you uh, could not listen my voice, 
or you certainly would you will not able to view this PowerPoint slide or video, please turn on your mic or alert me. So if not, I will not able to know either uh, everything is uh, running smooth or not. So I just uh, want to share with you. So what we what we are going to discuss it, especially under this uh, lecture slide. So before this, I also uh, still remember uh, last week we, uh, I also have brief uh, uh, with you all. So what we are going to learn, especially for this course, uh, GIG1003 in this semester, there will be a several uh, course learning outcome. There will be a several uh, learning directions that we are going to achieve end of this semester. So uh, first of all, you have to know so what is the definitions of entrepreneurship and later on you have to know how you are going to generate your business idea and practice it into your industry. So after that, you also have to know how you are going to transform all your business idea into this uh, business model. As I told you earlier, we are going to learn a uh, two business model uh, in this semester. Number one, we are going to learn the business canvas model and second will be very proposition model. So from these two business model, later on, I'm going to guide you how you're going to uh, elaborate more in detail via this business plan or marketing portfolio. Later on, uh, what we what we are going to do, Ruby, I going to ask every group you are going to conduct your uh, business pitching. So as you, as I told you earlier, business pitching is not a a, a, a presentation, but business pitching is a process of convincing your business partner, your business stakeholder, your direct customer in buying your business idea. So uh, before that, uh, it's very important you have to know. Uh, what actually is entrepreneurship? What are the differences between businessman and the entrepreneur? So uh, I still remember I also have uh, shared this with you during our last lecture. So in this course, I will not guide you how you're going to set up your company and how you're going to become a businessman uh, by duplicating and repeating what a current business model already been adopted by your business by this uh, current business man, because as an entrepreneur, uh, it totally different uh, with the businessman. So for businessman, normally uh, this person uh, will always and always will wait and see uh, <clears throat> all the uh, the current competitors already get started then and this kind of uh, businessman will always and always will repeat and uh, duplicate their business model by uh, selling the same products and uh, or offering the same or similar services. So therefore, it's, it will be very challenging um, for businessmen uh, to create their uh, competitive advantage in this market at all. So therefore, in this course, I'm going to guide you how you are going to apply all this entrepreneur mindset and skill set into your career. So meaning to say, uh, <clears throat> I'm not going to ask you after joining this class, you must become an entrepreneur. You must uh, know how you're going to sell something. It's not uh, just only like that because uh, after your graduation, most important, you have to know how you are going to uh, apply all these entrepreneur uh, skill set and mindset into your career. You should know how you are going to lead a group of people and how you're going to manage uh, a project based on limited resources and the time given. So therefore, every time when I'm going to assign some group assignments or individual assignment to you, so it's a very important you have to know how you're going to manage your time in completing all these tasks that are given to you. All the experience that you gain it uh, during this uh, semester, actually you can apply it, especially in your workplace later on. So today I'm going to share with you what actually is entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship actually to me will be a process. 
a process by some individuals when this individual or this crowd of people or this person have already identified the business opportunity, meaning to say that after they have analyzed everything, so they are very sure by saying that this will be their opportunity for them, they will never wait and see, they will never think and think and wait and see, but they will go ahead without regards any resources, resources they're currently controlling. Resources in this context, uh, we refer to uh, the capital, the money, or the people. People could be a group of uh, experts, a group of uh, stakeholders, could, could be a group of uh, employees. So instead of that, uh, resources, we also can refer to the uh, business strategy, business uh, model that uh, this entrepreneur had. So all the resources will be very important uh, for every uh, entrepreneur. So in other words, when this entrepreneur has uh, identified the business opportunity, so they will never and never say that uh, I will wait my competitor's stuff first. So after waiting my competitor number one and two and until uh, entrepreneur number 10, they have already start, started it, then I just uh, follow and duplicate their business model. No, when I, uh, is I'm the entrepreneur, once I have identified the business opportunity, I, in, for my analysis, I think this will be a very good time for me to start up my business. So at that time, whatever business of, uh, resources that I had, so I would go ahead without uh, regards any uh, resources that are currently controlling. So this will be the first uh, definitions uh, that defined and given by Stevenson. So in other words, uh, entrepreneurship also uh, can define, actually will be the an art of turning your idea uh, into the business. For example, if I have uh, some ideas, especially during this COVID-19 pandemic. So I, I, I said that, um, what if I'm going to sell uh, this product number A or B or C? So I'm very sure that if I'm going to sh uh, sell this product during this uh, uh, COVID-19 pandemics, so I will able uh, to sell it uh, with, uh, especially for this group of my like, customer. So I means that when I have some idea in my mind, it's very important we have to turn it into business. We have to practice it. We have to implement your business idea. We cannot just keep all your business idea by putting in your mind. So it's very important you have to know how I'm going to implement and practice my business idea. Practice my business idea means that I'm going to take action. I'm going to take my initiative in getting started of this business idea. For example, after I have seen some kind of this business idea, a very a very soon I'm going to register uh, one SSM under SSM and get the registration number for SSM. That's why I'm going to market all my uh, product or services via social media, for example, via Facebook, Twitter, or the Instagram or WhatsApp business or even SMS marketing. So after that, uh, I'm going to uh, identify who will be my uh, target customer or who will be my competitors. So have my competitors uh, already solved the problems of my target customer or not? So have I uh, fulfilled the needs and wants of my uh, target customer or not. So when your target customer, they are not happy with the current uh, services or the product that they bought, meaning to say that your current competitors, they did not fulfill the needs and wants of your target customer. At that time, will be a very good time, it will be a very great 
business opportunity for you to start out with this business. So as an entrepreneur, you have always and always to you have to listen the frustration and the uh, illustrations of your target customer. So you have to know how you are going to uh, fulfill their need and wants. You have to know how you are going to offer some uh, products and some uh, services that are needed by your target customer. So therefore, it's very, very important. You have to identify the USB of your products or services. So USB means a unique selling proposition. You have to identify it. So why my target customer, they have to buy from me? Why they have to uh, subscribe my services? So therefore, uh, you have to know. So every services, every product that you're going to offer actually will be the solutions. To me, it will be a solution. If you were able to solve the problems and and you were able to meet the expectation by fulfilling the need and wants of your target customer. And at the same time, you were able to do something better and better than your competitors. At that time, properly, your target um, customer will buy your product or services from you. So, I would like to say happy birthday. So happy birthday to you, all the best to you. Wish you all your dreams come true. Yes, thanks. So let us uh, continue our discussions. Whoa, let's sing our songs. Okay, no problem. Okay. You can turn on your mic and have a song. It's okay. I'm okay with this. Or how about we just... Uh, we after our during our break time, then we sing maybe properly. You can turn on your mic and we let us uh, sing the song together. Is it okay? So let us uh, continue with these uh, discussions. So, <clears throat> so therefore, oh uh, yes, is it okay? Yeah, great. Happy birthday to you. So, uh, these will be uh some definitions for entrepreneurship. So therefore. Uh, entrepreneurship we define as actually as an art or turning your idea into a practice or turning your idea into a business. Meaning to say yeah. you have uh, commercialized all your business idea into the business. Yeah, happy birthday to our Jinnam here. Yeah, happy birthday to you. So I think lecture on again, um, we're going to sing a song. But uh, very sure, okay, uh, mostly we're going to make it during our break time, no worries. So we continue our lecture here. <clears throat> uh, at the same time, uh, entrepreneur, also we can define in this uh, context. So these kind of people, mostly they go into a sample and gather all the uh, business resources, such as the money or capital, or group of people uh, could be, uh, or some business strategy could be a, some business model, and this kind of people is going to integrate and gather every uh, business strategy, uh, resources uh, by applying, by integrating all these uh, creativity and innovations and, and put it and apply into the business. So this is very important as an entrepreneur, you have to know how you are going to apply the creativity and innovations, especially into your products or services. Because by applying uh, uh, creativity and innovations uh, into your uh, products or services, you are able to create some competitive advantage in this market. You are able to provide and meet the expectation and the needs and wants of your target customer. So therefore, it's very, very important as an entrepreneur, you have to know how you are going to compete with your competitors. You have to know uh, what are the uh, needs and the feedback that given by your uh, target customer. So in terms of the product, or product or services features in terms of the price, 
in terms of the customer after sales. As an entrepreneur, you have to know how you are going to uh, grab your um, your target customer and become your customer. So this is very important. You have to know. So so far, are you clear for uh, everything for the um, uh, explanations that I had uh, with you about the definition of entrepreneurship? I'm going to ask you uh, frequently. So before I'm going to proceed, everyone, are you OK with this? Are you clear with this? So today we have learned the three definitions of entrepreneurship. So can we proceed? Yes. Then we're going to uh, continue our discussions. Uh, actually, this entrepreneur's uh, skill set and mindset is not only we are going to apply for individual, espe uh, especially nowadays we also have applied into the most of the corporate. So currently, especially during this um, uh, COVID-19 pandemic, so uh, most of the uh, business and the corporate, they already have changed and transformed uh, their business model into these uh, digital uh, platform as well. So meaning to say, uh, last time, if I would like to open and start up my business, mostly I'm going to uh, rent out a one shop lot, especially in a one shopping mall. But nowadays, because of changing of our customer behavior, mostly uh, all majority of the customer, especially for our uh, market customer, they prefer to stay at home. So therefore, uh, during this period, especially during this period of the pandemic, uh, so we cannot uh, start up my, our business by rent out uh, one shopping lot by paying a very uh, expensive renter, especially uh, during this time. Therefore, we have to change our business model. We have to transform and transfer our uh, existing uh, conservative business model into this uh, new era or the digital uh, business model. So therefore, uh, entrepreneurship, uh, especially for these entrepreneurs, uh, um skill set and mindset so it's very important we have to know how we are going to apply it into one corporate we cannot uh keep uh using the existing and the conservative um business model in our uh business because our environment is changing our uh, everything is uh is different so there will be a lot of disruptions. So one year back, who knows we are going to have these uh, uh, MCO, we never know. So therefore, uh, as an entrepreneur, so you have always and always uh, to, um, to, to, to analyze and sensitive to the, uh, the current uh, changing of our environment. This is very, very important. So I give one more example here. So uh, if you are going, if you plan uh, to start your business, especially uh, especially after graduation, uh, uh, mostly you can try to uh, think. So what, uh, how we are going to start up our business with the minimum uh, cost or capital. So in nowadays, uh, social media, especially for these uh, Facebook or or the or even uh, for these uh, Instagrams, so there will be a very uh, very uh, good background for us to be uh, considered in opening and start up our business. So because uh, the fees will be much lower, is compared we going to open and start our business by uh, renting a one shop lot in a shopping mall. And furthermore, uh, nowadays uh, our uh, customer behavior are totally changed. They are pre most of the customer nowadays that prefer to purchase online. They prefer to use some existing platform such as the uh, Shopee, Lazada, so uh, to buy their uh, products or their uh, subscribe their services online. So therefore, 
align with these destructions. So we have to know how we are going to survive align with these uh, phenomena in this scenario. So therefore, it's a very important uh, you have to know how you are going to uh, apply all these entrepreneurial um, uh, mindset and skill set, even uh, as an employee after your graduation. So uh, if okay, uh, these practice of work from home is uh, still continuous, so how you going to uh, survive and and suit yourself uh, with this uh, current uh, scenario? In other words, you have to know how you're going to uh, access to the internet and how you're going to uh, have uh, some presentations uh, via uh, these uh, um, online platform at all. Therefore, it's very, very important. So therefore, uh, this will be some comparison uh, between the entrepreneur of a uh, corporate and a conservative corporate. <clears throat> so uh, especially for those uh, corporate and company um, uh, which are applying on these uh, entrepreneur uh, mindset and skill set into the business, mostly they will take proactive initiative. They, ne they never and never will wait and see and wait their competitors number one and two and three until the competitor 10 already start up their business. Uh, they just follow and they just duplicate their business uh, model and they just repeat uh, what they are selling. So as an entrepreneur, uh, they never and never do this because uh, they once they uh, have already identified this will be their business opportunity. They will go ahead. They will always and always uh, grab the first cake, especially first light of cake in this market. They never and never wait all their competitors already uh, assist uh, in this market. Then uh, they just uh, start up uh, their business by uh, duplicating uh, their business model. So therefore, at that time, it will be very challenging uh, for us to survive in this market. So therefore, as an entrepreneur, uh, they will always uh, uh, take the risk. They will be a risk taker, meaning to say uh, they, they are willing to take the risk as long as they have identified this will be the business opportunity for them. So, uh, as an entrepreneur, it's very, very important uh, we have to know how we are going to minim minimize the lead risk, how we are going to create the advantage, how we are going to maximize the profit, how we are going to minimize the cost, how we are going to create the competitive advantage of our products or our services in this market, and how we are going to uh, expand and uh, manage our business. So this is very, very important. But if we, we, we look at this conservative uh, corporate, mostly they will always and always will wait and see. They, they will never and never uh, be proactive in, uh, in, in start up their business. They will always and wait. Uh, they will wait a uh, competitor one or oh, they already started or they already have gained some uh, profit. Then I, they are going to wait and other uh, competitors in starting the business. After waiting a long, uh, for a long time, so they just uh, said, that, uh, I, I just start and try it. So this will be a sound conservative uh, corporate. So in the long term, it's very challenging for them to compete uh, in this market. It's very challenging for them to, uh, to create the advantage, especially for the competitive advantage in this market. It's very challenging for them to achieve their business goal. It's also very challenging for them uh, to uh, get the profit they wanted. So, and second, or uh, will be they they never or less of using or uh, applying all these uh, innovative uh, features in their products. For them, they will always and always will use the same methods, some. Uh, 
same uh, methodology and same um, uh, business model in uh, for their business. Means they say all the features that uh, of their product will be same. So they never improve it. They never apply some innovative and creative or uh, fit uh, creative ideas by making them better. Because as you know, our needs and wants of our of our target customer always change. So maybe uh, now they say, okay, this product is very good. Uh, maybe the, for this time, maybe they say, okay, your services are still very good. But how about after a uh, few years later? Maybe they think that um, your product should uh, should be improved. Uh, your services should be improved. So therefore, if we are keep uh, using uh, the same business model, uh, is uh, very soon uh, your target customer will change it to your and uh, move it. Uh, um, and to your uh, competitors side at all. Therefore, uh, normally for these conservative firm, they also they do not want to take risk. Uh, they do not want uh, to uh, take any challenges. So uh, therefore, uh, it's, it will be harder and very challenging for them uh, to be survived in this market. So this will be some comparison between the entrepreneur uh, corporate and conservative corporate. This is very important. You have to know for it. So before this, do you have any questions? So just let me know any questions before I'm going to proceed the next discussion. I'm going to ask you awfully. So you just type it very easy. Just type it. At least I know you are listening to uh, what I'm saying, what, I, what I'm sharing. Just type it. Are, are, are you okay? Are you clear? Any question you want to ask? Okay, right? Yes, this time. Yes, good. Okay, thank you so much. So uh, let's uh, continue our discussion. So uh, why we want to become an entrepreneur? What makes us uh, become uh, entrepreneur? So there will be a, a three primary uh, reasons why uh, people or uh, one why why some individual they want to uh, become an entrepreneur number one because they are desire they want to be a boss they want to manage a little group of people they want to compete in this market they want uh, to uh, uh, to lead a group of people in order for them to compete with the competitors so because of, of this so this will be as one of the reason. So instead of that, uh, because there are uh, this kind of people or this kind of person, uh, mostly uh, they want to uh, expand and um, and implement their business idea. So in their mind, uh, after they have some business idea, they want to practice it. They want to implement it into this market. They want um, to know either their um, business idea is working or not. Either uh, their business idea is accepted by their cu customer or not. Therefore, this will be the second um, uh, reasons uh, that uh, motivate and make these kind of people uh, become uh, an entrepreneur. So a uh, third will be uh, the financial rewards because they are prefer to get a more uh, um, or incomes. So in other words, in their uh, point of view, uh, they prefer to work uh, as uh, by having their own business because in their mind, uh, they do not want to just get a very limited salary. So, um, but at the same time, they prefer to get a more incomes by giving a better uh, and better uh, life to their family. So these will be some primary uh, reasons uh, that uh, make and urge some um, entrepreneur in uh, in uh, starting up their uh, business. This is very important. Um, furthermore, uh, I also want to share with you uh, what are the characteristics of uh, being a, a successful uh, entrepreneur. Number one is very important. You have to know. The passion. Passion means that 
uh, you should passionate and love the career and the occupations or even uh, the, 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 the nature of business that you are currently working. For example, uh, same with you. So as a student, so if, if you are studying, for example, under this course, under this faculty, so you should love, you should passionate uh, with the course that is currently studying. You should love uh, the career that you are currently working. You cannot say that uh, actually I'm being forced in studying this course. I'm being forced by uh, someone in, uh, in in working at this uh, occupation in this industry. You should love, you should have some um, uh, passion for your career. When you are passionate with the career that you are working, for very sure uh, you will enjoy the process. So you will like the process. So for every uh, challenges that you uh, encounter, you will think how you are going to solve it until you uh, succeed in your life. This is very important. Don't uh, always uh, say that actually uh, I do not like to do this because uh, uh, because uh, some someone asked me to do this because my friends uh, uh, study this course that I do not have choice in joining this. Don't have this negative thinking. It's very important. You should love your professional that you have chosen. This is very important. So uh, same as entrepreneur. So uh, you should always and always uh, love the career and uh, uh, occupation, even for the business that you, that you are currently conducting. And the next will be very important will be product and customer focus. Some of the on, uh, businessmen, they did this uh, and make this uh, mistake. Because in their, in their product review, they think that uh, as long as I have come up with some product, my direct customer must accept it. Mostly, all my customers uh, will accept it. This is a misconception that happening of uh, among um, many entrepreneurs nowadays. They spend a lot of time in, in preparing all these products and services. Then after this, they just launch this product. This is a, is, is a, is a wrong process because and as an entrepreneur, we should always focus the need and wants of our customer. By identifying their need and wants, we just uh, start up with our business idea. If not, right, okay, how you are going to fulfill the need and wants? Your target customer will just only consider in buying your products or subscribe your services once you have solved their problems or you have uh, met their expectation. If not, they will not buy your products or, or subscribe your services. We buy this product because we do hope and we do expect after buying this product, it will able to help me to solve some problems. At the same time, uh, it will help me to fulfill my needs at once. So at the same time, uh, you have to know as an entrepreneur, you have to know how I'm going to uh, identify the weaknesses of my uh, competitors via the products or services that are, that are currently been using by our uh, target customer. Once your customer, especially your darkest customer, are uh, not happy or feel frustrated or irritated of uh, your competitors' uh, products or services, I would like to say this will be a very good uh, business opportunity for you to start up for this. So therefore, as an entrepreneur, we have always uh, to um, focus the need and wants of our customer before we are going to uh, come up with how we are going to 
uh, start up with this business, how are you going to apply all these features of this uh, product or services by offering, by launching into this market at all. So therefore, we cannot simply say, I want to launch this product into market. Then you uh, just uh, imagine or then must a lot of customers will come and, and, and buy my product. This will be uh, some misconceptions and some mistakes already be conducted um, by many on, on businessmen. So therefore, uh, we have a one assessment we call a case study. By referring to the current case study, so we were able to know what are the business model and business strategy already been adopted and applied by the current entrepreneur and what are the failure they have encountered. So as a, a new entrepreneur, how we are not repeat the same mistake already been uh, 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 made by our uh, assisting entrepreneur. And we, tr we have to know how we going to avoid of repeating the same mistake and how we going to come up with a better and better um, lessons. So this why this is why as an entrepreneur, you should know how you are going to read critically for the existing uh, case study. As I told you and I shared with you, in this class, mostly I want all of you, you try to involve uh, all these um, um, business activity for, uh, practically. I do not want you to listen to the lecture, but at the same time, at the end, you do not know how you're going to practice your, uh, your, your business idea into this market. Therefore, uh, properly, uh, later on, I'm going to guide you how you're going to uh, sell uh, something, uh, some products or some services via social media platform. So this is very important. So this will be the second uh, characteristics of being uh, a successful entrepreneur. Another thing, uh, these kind of um, uh, people or this kind of entrepreneur, they never and never give up and have a negative thinking in their life. So when they, they, when they encounter uh, some uh, failure or some uh, challenges in their life, mostly they will uh, overcome it. They will try to uh, think the solutions uh, to solve this problem at all. They, are, um, they always be positive uh, in solving all these uh, uh, problems they encounter. They never uh, give up by saying that I want to quit uh, from this industry. I do not want uh, to continue my business anymore. No, they never and uh, never give up. Therefore, persistence will be very important, uh, especially uh, uh, for an uh, uh, entrepreneur or a successful entrepreneur. So the fourth will be the execute uh, of your intelligence. So never and never uh, do something that you are not familiar with. Never and never uh, do something that you are not uh, not uh, involved and and do, do not do something that you are not uh, have any experience before. So try to execute. Uh, and do something that you are familiar with. At the same time, you have some experience in doing this. For example, if you are going to um, um, sell some products, so this kind of product, uh, you should have some experience and you should have some knowledge in uh, in creating this product. Then you just uh, sell it. Do not start with something that you are totally do not have any knowledge of this. Then you're going to start it. They will be very, very um, difficult for you to, uh, to sustain uh, your business. So therefore, uh, I would like to say uh, one of the characteristics of a successful entrepreneurs, they will always and always execute their intelligence. And this in intelligence, mostly they, they have uh, the, 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 um, the assisting knowledge and experience. 
I give you one example here, like Bill Gates, because Bill Gates has some fundamental and some knowledge of the uh, computer science and programming. Therefore, when he have launched uh, the Windows, so it will be easier for, uh, for him to succeed in this career. So if not, uh, if not, they will be very challenging if you're going to ask Bill Gates to uh, uh, launch uh, some uh, some area or something that uh, he might not have this car experience. They will be very challenging for him, same as you. So if you are studying this, uh, this kind of, uh, you have some kind of this experience, you have something have this uh, knowledge before, try to execute it. <clears throat> So these will be some characteristic of being a, a successful uh, entrepreneur. So do you have any questions so far? So I can see some of you just joined our meeting. So can we continue, right? Can, can we continue? Yes, very good. Sure, doctor. Sure, doctor. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Uh, therefore, um, we try to continue our discussion. So in terms of the impact, especially for the economic impact on these uh, entrepreneur uh, firms, so I give you one example here. So last time during my time, when uh, we want to go to one des uh, destination, mostly we have, um, what we're going to do, Ruby, either we have to go to the bus station and you have to wait for the bus or we can go to the taxi station and a uh, call for the taxi. So because of having these uh, Uber or, or Grab services, because of having these mobile apps, mostly I can um, call some Grab car easily by using these mobile apps. So because of having uh, these uh, mobile apps, we call as Uber or this Grab car. So uh, actually, they have uh, created a lot of new occupations in this market. They have uh, uh, created a lot of um, uh, impact in this uh, our society. So mostly, uh, they will uh, change their uh, the the current uh, customer behavior because of having these mobile apps. They already have changed uh, the process of uh, calling uh, 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 some um, public uh, transport, they already changed it because of having this kind of entrepreneur or uh, corporate. Because of uh, uh, Grab or Uber, they have applied all these uh, innovation and creativity into their corporate. Therefore, they have changed uh, uh, the behavior of the existing customer at the same time they have created a lot of new uh, jobs in this market. So therefore, we have a lot of uh, uh, Grab uh, driver. So many uh, many of, of them, mostly they can work as a part-time after they're working. So in this means that actually, when you are going to apply uh, some innovation and innovative and uh, creativity into your business, especially into your corporate, mostly at the same time, you were able to create many jobs in this, especially for the new jobs in this market at all. So therefore, in terms of the impact of society, so uh, because of having, I give you another example, because of having these uh, mobile apps we call as a grab foods or the grab car, so therefore, it will able uh, to, to, to provide another alternative, especially for those people that are willing to work as a part-time. So meaning to say, they were able to, uh, uh, to get uh, some uh, income or extra income after their working hours. So meaning to say, in terms of the impact of society, because of having this car or corporate, we call it as a Grab car or this Uber, because of their creativity and innovations, they were able to uh, give uh, some impact on, on our society. Because of having this Grab car, so uh, 
many uh, employees they can have their another part time job after their uh, the working hours. They can become uh, they can become a uh, uh, grab driver and earn some uh, uh, additional income of being a grab driver because of having these kind of entrepreneur uh, firms. So at the same time, also will be uh, have uh, some impacts on the large or uh, largest uh, com uh, company or corporate. So uh, when you're going to apply uh, some uh, innovation and some creativity into your corporate, actually you also will deliver uh, some impact to even for the very um, uh, large company. I give an example here. I use the same example here. Uh, for example, uh, like the grab, grab food. So grab food to me is the uh, services. Actually, is uh, it just uh, will be a uh, one component under the grab. So there will be a lot of la larger company like a KFC, like a Burger King, like a MacD, even like uh, ma many la larger uh, uh, firms. Especially because of having these grab foods, to me grab food is it, it, to me will be uh, just a mobile apps. So because having this, so uh, especially during this um, pandemic, so uh, many uh, customers of KFC, of these uh, very large and very well-known company like uh, KFC, MACD, Burger Kings, so they can order their foods by using these uh, mobile apps we call as a grab food. Because grab food, they have uh, some, they have a prime, uh, some uh, entrepreneurial uh, mindset and skill set into the co their corporate. At the same time, they also have applied uh, some new business model. So therefore, uh, it will also will deliver uh, some impact on the existing uh, larger uh, corporate at all. So this will be some impact in terms of the impact on our uh, society or our larger firm at all. So this slide, uh, the next slide, I going to hold for a while. So I going to complete. Uh, I, I, I let me. Uh, I will say to continue this. So the entrepreneurial process, there will be four step. So first step will be uh, we have to make decision by our own by saying that starting today, uh, in next one year. I want to start up my business by, of, by being an entrepreneur. So you already decided uh, to become an entrepreneur. So next step, you have to uh, generate uh, some very good uh, business idea. Then next, you are going to uh, move and transform all your business idea and practice it into the industry. So later on, you're going to uh, manage it and going to grow your business at all. So this will be the four process, uh, especially for the uh, entrepreneurial process. So this will be a four step. So uh, before we go into proceed uh, with our uh, tea break, so uh, listen carefully. Uh, this will be the some task that I'm going to uh, share with you. So uh, first, uh, weekly online activity for week number two, what you are going to do, uh, you have to uh, screenshot, uh, what you call this? You have to screenshot uh, the score that you receive um, for your Kahoot. So for those students, if let's say uh, you miss this session, you or you could not uh, screenshot the score that you received just now. It's okay. Uh, I have shared uh, the, all the questions, or uh, especially for the Kahoot questions, to our uh, WhatsApp group. Let's show on, okay. Uh, especially for those students uh, uh, that you uh, miss uh, miss out in uh, screenshot on uh, the uh, photo, you can just copy uh, this question and put it into the Word documents, then you send it to the uh, Spectrum. So for those, if you have a uh, screenshot successfully, you just uh, submit the photo that you had. So this will be the first uh, 
learning activities for week number two. So, so far, do you have any questions for this? So I already shared with you. So another thing I'm going to share with you, I want you to do this. This is a very important. So actually this one you, you're not doing uh, to me or you are not doing to uh, your friends, but you are doing for yourself. So I try to share this. Actually, you also can get it uh, from Spectrum. However, I try to share with you. Your second task for this way will be very easy. You try to identify a one entrepreneur that you like it very most. You, you like, like him or her very much because um, uh, every every um, every time uh, these entrepreneurs okay have launched their product or services, uh, you will follow uh, this person and mostly you really uh really like this entrepreneur at all i give her an example here uh, for example to me i like uh, bill gates because of bill gates all uh, right i i i i i study uh, and, and complete my bachelor degree related with computing and technopreneurship and at the same time uh i also will learn and identify what are the characteristics of this entrepreneur so by referring to this slide, so there will be a lot of uh, entrepreneur competency. So for example, uh, after you identify uh, some entrepreneur that you like most, you try to try to uh, analyze it. Is it these entrepreneurs come with these uh, initiative? Is it, is it this entrepreneur will always seize and act an opportunity? Will it this entrepreneur will always have uh, have his or her or uh, systematic uh, planning, will this entrepreneur have this kind of thing we call as? Uh, yeah, it's okay. If you were not able to get your mark, it's okay. You just to uh, copy back all these questions already shared with you via the uh, with our WhatsApp group. You just copy it and put it into the Word document. Then you just uh, mark it. Uh, what was your answer? Uh, that's it. Then you just submit to me. It's okay. Is that my? Because to me is uh, Kahu is just uh, our part of our uh, learning activities. All right. Answer your questions. Are fixed and sure and uh, want. Okay. So go back to this. So this will be a seconds. Or uh, I got this seconds uh, learning activities. First of all, you have to open up with your Microsoft Word. So after this, you have to identify the entrepreneur that you like most. Then you're going to analyze what are the um, competency and the characteristic of this entrepreneur. Then you just have a very short uh, discussion with, uh, with this uh, uh, entrepreneur. Then you just submit to Spectrum. That's it. Yeah. Any questions? Yeah, it's OK, no man, OK. If you close your account, it's OK. So for example, like Bill, I, I, I've chosen a Bill Gates as my idol uh, or and, uh, as my entrepreneur. So therefore, I, uh, for my uh, analysis, uh, Bill Gates always uh, concerned for a high quality of work. You can say something like this. It's very important uh, as an uh, especially uh, for uh, for you all, it's very important uh, uh, you, we have to identify uh, someone or some idol and some entrepreneur that you would like to uh, uh, learn from him or her. It's very important because uh, at least you have uh, some directions, uh, someone that you are going to learn and some uh, competency uh, that you are going to apply into your life, then it will be easier for you uh, to succeed uh, in your life. So for example, uh, because of having uh, my idol, my entrepreneur for myself, at which is uh, who is uh, Bill Gates. So every time uh, when I encounter uh, some problem in debating or uh, some uh, syntax error in this uh, programming, so I always, I always will tell myself, uh, Bill Gates can do it, what I cannot do. So 
uh, Bill Gates, okay, because of his uh, persistence, so I also will never and never give up because of his uh, passion and self-confidence. Uh, also, and also I want to learn or even I want uh, be better and better uh, from time to time. So therefore, it's very important uh, we have to have some uh, one, some idol or uh, someone that uh, that you uh, like it most, then you try to abstract some competency and some characteristic of this person. At the same time, then you're going to apply it into your life. Then at that time, mostly you will succeed. So you just like a very short essay, then you just uh, submit as your second e-learning activities. All the deals I mentioned already been stated clearly uh, into the spectrum. Any questions before we are going to take a break? Any questions? No, okay. So we're going to take a break for, uh, I think, probably uh, five minutes. So uh, before this, okay. Is it, uh, is it some, I, I, uh, I, I knew that uh, someone is have a birthday. Uh, Jinam, are you here? Yeah, Jinam, Jinam. Yeah, yeah, how are you, Jinam? Maybe you can turn yeah. on your camera, then let us have a yeah. look on you. So, uh, Jinam, yeah. can you turn on your camera for a while? So I would like to say, yeah, Jinam. Yeah, Jinam, how are you? Yeah, uh, today is your birthday, is it? I just want to confirm. Is it your birthday today? Yes. So, uh, so first of all, uh, happy birthday to you. So for those uh, who want to sing a song for him, yes. If anyone, if, if you have a birthday today, let us have uh, some songs. You can turn on your mic. Or oh, I'm going to play a song better because I'm not very good in singing, but I prefer to uh, find a songs for you. So just give them one minute, then I'm going to uh, find a songs for you. So at the same time, all of us can have a... You can sing together, yes. No worries. Jinam, open my Jinam. Yeah, open your mind. Yeah, okay, now I'm going to, well, uh, do this break time. Yes. Jinam, are you ready? Then, okay, I'm going to share this with you. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, you, you you can turn on your mic if you want. <laughs> it's so dance. <laughs> Birthday during our class, we could have a songs during our break. So there will be we were able to make um more interactive and more enjoyable when joining this class. So happy birthday! So any words you have to share yeah, with us? You know? Birthday song. Yeah. Okay. Please. Okay. You can share anything. So uh, I will be seeing you. So after three minutes, then after this, uh, yeah, we. Going to continue our lecture. Okay. Happy birthday. 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 Happ
Yeah, can, can, no problem. Good. Jinnam, happy birthday to you and enjoy your day. So, wish you all the best. Great. Happy birthday, Tanjinnam. Yeah, happy birthday. We can sing again later, STEM class. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, yeah, I, I will see you after two minutes. Thanks. At the same time, if you have any works with Jinnab, you can you can have a works with him. Thanks. Excuse me. Let's go. Well, okay, welcome back. So let's uh, continue our discussion here. So uh, if you, uh, how are you going to say? If you uh, forgot uh, to uh, print screen the score for your Kahoot, it's okay. You just uh, copy all these uh, questions and put it into Word, then you just submit into the um, spectrum. So uh, let us uh, continue our discussions. It's very important. Um, what we are going to uh, discuss will be this. Whoa. So let's continue. So are you ready, Cross? Were you able to see this slide or not? Just someone reply to me. Were you able to see this uh, PowerPoint slide or not? Yes, okay. Uh, let us get started. 
Uh, just now we already have discussed about uh, these what the definition of entrepreneurship and what uh, what are the process of um, being an entrepreneur and what are the um, uh, differences uh, between uh, conservative corporate and uh, entrepreneur uh, corporate and what are the impacts uh, of these car kind of uh, entrepreneur uh, corporate uh, into the society into the largest uh, company so we already have discussed for it and at the same time I also have assigned uh, what are your seconds or uh, uh, week uh, weekly uh, e-learning activities to you so uh, please okay work for it especially by identifying uh, the competency of your um, uh, of your idol, especially um, the idol that you like most. So, uh, let's get started. Uh, for this uh, lecture note, this is very important. Uh, Even, hello. Uh -huh. Yeah. Can we continue? Right. Okay. So make sure if you're not able to see the PowerPoint slide or, or you were not able to listen my voice, please uh, let me know. Then I would just stop it. Um, then we try to fix this problem. Let me just continue for it. Even though these will be just have, we just have a six slides here, but it's very important you have to know all this. First, uh, before this, uh, let me uh, put this way. So uh, for this course, First, you have to know uh, what is the definitions of entrepreneurship, how you are, uh, how uh, you are going to uh, apply all these entrepreneurs uh, mindset and skill set into your company. At the same time, why these uh, entrepreneur uh, skill set and mindset are so important and how we are going to create uh, some competitive advantage in this market. After this, you have to know how you are going to generate uh, some idea and implement it into the business. At that time, how in, after this, I'm going to share with you how you're going to design and come up with some business model. And from these two business model, which, is, which are the business canvas model and value proposition model, and how we're going to elaborate in more in detail while your business plan or your marketing portfolio. Later on, how you're going to implement and practice your idea. So in this lesson, <clears throat> what I'm going to share with you will be uh, how you are going to uh, generate uh, some idea for your business. So before I'm going to start with this uh, explanation of the process, I try to uh, share one case study with you. So this is a very simple case study. So listen carefully uh, for this uh, case study. So uh, on uh, 2019, which is which is the next uh, last year. So when I uh, reached at this ABC shopping mall. So uh, when I reached this shopping mall, I I have spent most. Uh, mostly will be three hours in getting my car park. So from my observation at the same time, so I observed that many uh, drivers, they are feel frustrated and irritated because they have spent uh, almost three hours as me. So after analyze it, so I, 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 I found that uh, there will be no uh, a very good car park system uh, for this uh, shopping mall, which is a uh, ABC shopping mall. So after that, uh, I try to communicate uh, with uh, these visitors, especially these frustrated and irritated uh, um, Visitors, especially, do uh, they are not happy with the current um, uh, car bus system for this uh, shopping mall. So after that, uh, I know that 
the reason of making they are uh, not happy because uh, they have spent a lot of time uh, in uh, getting their car back. At the same time, when they want to uh, fight back their car uh, park position, uh, they have spent a lot of time. So because of this, I can make a one conclusion by saying that the my current competitors, which which are uh, preparing the car parks for this ABC shopping mall, they did not do well. They, they uh, did not fulfill the need and wants of my Dangat customer, which are the visitors of this ABC shopping mall. Because of the background of myself, uh, which is uh, programming and app development. So therefore, I try to provide a one solutions to these uh, ABC shopping mall via these mobile apps. So by having these mobile apps, my target customer were able to reserve the car park by making the online payments. They were they can also will uh, get back and uh, and know the position of their car park. So therefore, I, I have already solved the problems which have not been able to solve by my current competitor. At the same time, I also help the ABC shopping mall in uh, fulfilling the need and wants of my target customer. In the end, I earn the profits by selling these uh, mobile apps to them. So by listening uh, to this case study, so we were able to know, actually all the business idea that we are going to generate, actually we can get it via our daily exposure. When you're going somewhere, at that time, uh, you're not, you are not uh, feeling happy uh, with the current services or the product that provided by the merchant or some service provider means that they did not do well. They were not able to fulfill the need and wants of their customer. At that time, will be a very good opportunity for you to provide the solutions. Once, uh, once uh, they have uh, when once we have uh, solved the problems of my, our target customer, mostly they will subscribe our services and buy our products. So there will be a four process uh, in uh, idea generation. First, we have to observe. We have to make some observations of the current uh, scenario. So for example, I give you one example here. So when you go and buy uh, some fast food in uh, whatever uh, restaurant, so but during that time, um, you're not happy with the services because you have to spend a lot of time in queuing, uh, in, in light up or queue. So at that time, you had to make, you had to observe, or oh, this will be uh, some problems. Why their customer, the customer, they have spent a lot of time in waiting and waiting uh, in this restaurant. At that time, you have to analyze it. What makes them, uh, especially my target customer, in spending a lot of time in waiting their, uh, their dinners or their foods or the, or the drinks? So after you analyze it, mostly you come up with some, uh, some uh, result by saying that Actually, they do not have a very good uh, system, especially for the customer. So at that time, you have to communicate with your target customer. You have to ask them by, say, by asking, for example, uh, what makes you not happy today? So uh, mostly at that time, your target customer will share a lot of irritation and frustration on these um, uh, merchant or this shop at all. So during that time, when you uh, 
listen, when you are listening, what the complaint and the feedback that given by this, uh, especially your like, customer, you already know the weaknesses of your current competitors. You already know that actually your current competitors were not able to fulfill the needs and wants. You already know what are the needs and wants of your market customer. What are the expectations? So at that time, you just develop a one solution to your customer. Mostly at that time, will be a very good uh, opportunity for you to start up with your business. So therefore, in order for you to generate your business idea, there will be a four core process. Observing, thinking or analy analyzing, communicating and developing. This will be a very important process. So I would like to share with you so anything you want to sell and propose later on, so you try to think. Especially all this idea could get it uh, via your daily exposure. When you're going to have a lunch, when you're going to uh, somewhere, when you're going to even you want to you wait in the bus stop, all these make you uh, feel not happy. This could be your business idea. So uh, conclude, to conclude, customer complaint and the feedback will provide the opportunity. So I give you another example. Uh, for example, a certain brand or this handphone will be very expensive. If you, uh, we, we, if you are able to provide uh, some handphone with similar features, with a cheaper price, mostly your customer, your target customer will buy from you because you already have help them in solving this problem in terms of a price, in terms of quality. Let's say your competitors, they're, they're providing three years warranties, but you provide, you, you add another additional uh, years of warranties until four years. So at that time, mostly your customer, uh, will, target customer will consider in buying your products or services. So therefore, actually, uh, idea could also can get it uh, via our working experience. So for example, if uh, because of the experience of working as a programmer, when I'm going to um, uh, when I'm going to propose something related with the uh, portal or even for the web development, it will be easier for me uh, to start up with this business. Because I'm having these hobbies, because my hobbies is reading. I know that uh, how we are going to provide the best services, uh, and, uh, especially for the reader. Because of this, having this interest. For example, I have some interest in cycling. So I know that uh, how could I provide the best services and best product of bicycle to my target customer. Furthermore, Environment will be very important also. So I'll give you an example here. Currently, our environment is changing. Most of us, uh, mostly we are prefer to stay at home. We most of us uh, prefer to order via online. So because of changing of this environment, you also can get uh, some business idea, especially for your business at all. So there will be a three techniques <clears throat> in how to generate your new uh, business idea. Number one will be brainstorming. When you when you are going to have some brainstorming session or discussion uh, with your um, stakeholder or your stake partner, even with your uh, employees, so it will help you to generate a very uh, good uh, business idea and have a very uh, fruitful uh, discussions. So at the same time, you also can apply this technique we call as uh, focus group techniques. Means that uh, you can uh, invite uh, a group of your of your target customer and come to your company. Even you can do it while online. You try to ask their point of view by saying that what 
are your expectation on these uh, coming products that I'm going to offer to you after one month? So what are your need and wants in terms of the features, in terms of the years of warranties, in terms of the um, price, what are your expectations? You can invite them, have uh, some discussion with your group of your uh, target customer. After you have uh, finalized it, mostly you were able to generate a very good business idea, especially for your business. Another method or technique we can use it will be survey. You can distribute uh, a thousand uh, or few thousand survey in collecting all this data. After finalize with the all the result, you were able to know uh, what are the uh, witnesses of the current competitors and what are the needs and wants of your um, uh, target customer. What are the uh, price uh, price range? that your, your customer will able uh, to buy it. What are the affordable price of if we are going to launch these products? All this, you can uh, you can get all these answer uh, via this uh, survey. So all this result uh, via this survey will be one of the technique for generating a new business idea. So this is most important. So as an entrepreneur, you have to know how you are going to solve the problems and the frustration of your target customer. If your customer feel very happy and satisfied with the current uh, um, product or services, it's very challenging for you to propose uh, to them by saying that come and buy this product. They will not buy uh, the new products if they are very happy and satisfied with their current or product they are using. This is very important. Once or once they have some uh, problems and once they are, your, your competitors were not able to solve their need and wants of them, therefore, at that time, it will be a, a business opportunity for you to propose a new solution for uh, to your target customer. It's very important for this. So uh, always and always bear in mind, you have to identify the unique selling proposition on your products, and you have to identify the price and the features of your products, even for the after sales services to your products. So uh, lastly, you have to know how you're going to create the competitive advantage of your product or services into this market at all. So I, uh, this will be uh, some discussion that we had uh, for today. So I conclude our uh, today lecture. So first we have uh, make uh, some recap and some revisions on our um, uh, last lecture. Then we have discussed the definition of entrepreneur. And at the same time, I have assigned uh, two, um, what do you call this? Two, uh, weekly e-learning activities to you all and uh, please send your request if you were not able to access the Google uh, Ship Excel file for your alternative attendance and make sure you already taken your attendance at the same time uh, we also have learned the uh, how we are going to generate some business idea so I think uh, do you have any questions you can post it here or you can WhatsApp to me uh, for this uh, weekly in a link, yes, because especially for excitements, uh, there will be one column for the uh, participation. If uh, the student have participate uh, actively, so the student will uh, mostly, um, yeah, there will be a marks will be assigned for this. At the same time, in terms of the uh, marks or whatever, this will be a very uh, good experience for the student uh, to participate, especially during the online classes. So as your lecturer, we have to uh, also plan all these uh, weekly uh, e-learning activities for you to, to be involved on this. I have, I have answered your questions, Daniel. So you have any, if you have, have other, other questions, you can get back to me. 
So because after this, I also have another class. So please and please, uh, please get back to me if you have any questions. So thank you for joining our class. For next week class, uh, I will let you know either we are, we are going to meet uh, asynchronous and synchronous. So I will be seeing you. Bye bye. Thank you so much. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. Thank, Thank, so Thank you so much. Thank you, Doctor.